Get in line. Follow me. That's right, Bark. Let's get started. <clears throat> um, so, my impression from the walkthrough I just looked up is that I cannot do anything with this quest at present. Okay, okay. With this test, rather, at present. And I think I can't do anything with the smoke one, which is over here. I think I've done everything I can do here in the past. So I think maybe it's time to go back to the future! Marty! No, oh, this is heavy, Doc. Is there something wrong with the gravity coefficient in the future? Uh, I'm going to talk to this one slave one more time, the guy that turns into a ghost, just to make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Greetings. Hello. Asking questions. I don't think... Don't tell me anything. He hasn't heard anything. I just wanted to see if he knew anything about the tests, but I guess not. All right. Back to the future! <laughs> I'm never going to get tired of doing that. Okay, we need the time crystal thingy. This thing. Whoa! It hurts. Hmm. Okay, I think first thing we'll do... Oh, let's go in this door. I think there's a bunch of dudes in here that are going to want to kill us. I can't remember if I cleared this place out last time or not. Oh, and, um... Magic Fang. Jaza, hello and welcome. How are you? Good. Aha! I knew it. Come on, everyone, help out! Is he dead or he just got knocked down? He just got knocked down! Damn it! Is he getting back up? What's happening? He's stuck! I am doing well, thank you for asking. I'm off tomorrow, so this is the start of my weekend, essentially. Which I'm very happy about. Come on, finish him off. There we go, thank you. Oh no, Sox is almost dead! Sox is dead. Mummy can punch. Okay. Tamerlan's song. There are many unusual items in the game. This is one of them. <laughs> okay. A bit meta there. Sure. Can I rest? I can. Good. So we get socks back. Hope everyone's doing well. I feel like this week just had a more positive vibe to it. I don't know uh, what I can attribute that to, but Walter, hello and welcome to the stream. How are you and how have you been? I hope well. Both counts. I oh, it's done. Two pounds. Oops, stuck on the door. Hang on. There. Yep. Yep. That. There we go. All right. Let's talk to Slave Ghost, coast to coast here, and see if he's got anything useful. To what the hell? Uh, oh no, are we fighting the golem? I don't think we're supposed to fight this guy yet. I think this is going to tell me I can't even make a scratch! He's killing the hell out of socks! Open weapon ineffective. How about some magic? Ready to change my occupation at the DMV to queer icon. Do it, man! 
Yeah, this is stupid. I don't know why I'm doing this. I should just reload the quick save. And uh, not... I don't want to fight that guy. You got everybody? You got everybody. Okay, follow me, you Get bozos. Follow me. Socks, looking at you. Now you're going to talk to the slave ghost. I'm going to just keep on going. No! Get in line. Follow me. Get in line. Get in. Get in line. Get in line. Get in line. Follow me. You coming? Get Just in Tommy line. And Sox. Follow me. Oh shit! We're being pursued. Maybe that keeps the golem from coming through. Do you think? Ah. Ah. Well, I don't know how Tommy and Socks are going to get through, but... Ah! Now, can we damage this guy since we did the sound yeah. test thingy? I can't even make a no, we can't. Son of a bitch. This is just going to end up killing me, too, right? Yeah. Run into the door. I could, but i got to figure out how to get past these guys eventually. Just absorb the spell, it looks like. Well, you can just kill me then, dude. Just go ahead and kill me. Come on, go ahead and kill me. Oh, did it, it looked like it got destroyed when it ran through the door? When it got to the door? I thought it just got stopped. Hmm. I should save it after I get unstuck from the door. This is freaking aggravating. Get in, 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 Follow me. Get in line. Get in line. Follow me. Get get get, get in line. Follow me. Where's Tommy? Okay, okay. There he is. All right. <clears throat> no, just. Ugh. Get in, get in line. Follow me. Okay, okay. Oh, he's gone. Some good rap. Thanks. I wonder if he's destroyed or just sent back to the beginning. Let's here. You know what, you guys. Stand your ground on this spot. Okay, okay. You guys stay right there. Hi. Hmm. Nope, that one's not working. Oh! Ah! Wait, Tommy, wait. So he just repop, he just regenerates over there. I think. I think he's still there. Well, that's no good. Um. Okay. Well, here. We can at least go plant the tree and see. Or we, we did plant the tree. We can, we can go up and talk to What's Her Nuts. Sorceress lady. Let's see if she's able to get the seeds or flowers or whatever the hell she fruit. I think fruit. Once more, I must thank you for planting the Ultarg seed trees for me. That's a or thick is accent. This the first time I'm thanking you. <laughs> no matter. I am grateful in any case. Okay. And how about a reward? Have I not given it to you yet? No, I suppose I haven't. Or you wouldn't be asking now, would you? What to give? What to give? Ah, I know. I think these gems will make a suitable reward. They say they can add sparkle to your personality. Huh? How about some persuasion? Well, I suppose I could offer something else. After all, you did risk capture by those scaly slavers in the past to plant this tree for me. I don't have much else on me except for this scroll. You can have it, I suppose. There's something else I can give you. Phantasmal Killer. Farewell, Mark, until we meet again for the first time. Ha ha! Or another time travel joke. Or maybe I haven't told any yet. Time 
crap, those are annoying. Are they all like this? Hmm. Wait. That's finished, but shouldn't this be finished as well? Ugh. Hmm. I thought she was going to give me something that would help me with the... Uh, acquired a diamond, that's it? I thought she was going to give me something that would help with the stupid golems, because there's a word of power here, and I can't get it. Let's mm. figure out how to get past the golems. Temporal lizard. Separation does not appear to be able to see you or interact with you. Well, crap. Can I open this? Locked. This massive door will not budge despite your efforts to open it. Inscribed on the door are the following words. Only the master of smoke, color, and sound may enter. There are three locks on this door. Hmm... I wonder if I have to go back to the past, if I missed something. You are of the living! There's no place for you! Blah, 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 blah. Um, cannot be beaten. They are invulnerable. Chris is fashionably late, yes, which is the coolest way to be late. <clears throat> Welcome. How are you? Magic of the creators has sustained them for 10,000 years, just as it has bound my spirit here for all eternity to me. Da, 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 da. Defeat these guardian golems. I was a slave when the golems were first fashioned. Without flaw or imperfection, they cannot be beaten. To destroy the golems, you would have to travel back in time to the ancient days when the creators walked the earth. You would have to travel to the time the golems were being made and introduce a single flaw into their creation. Yeah, this is aggravating. I don't, uh, I don't know what I'm missing here. It's pretty clear to me that there was nothing else I could do in the past. I suppose I'm wrong. Yes, that's how people walk. Good. Whoa, what the? What are we attacking? Oh, skeletons. To the fight, my friends. Attack! It was like Mars. Yeah, it was crazy. Lateral moonwalking. Thanks for showing up, Socks. Good of you to make an appearance. Okay, well, while we're here... Ding! It's no... Da, 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 da. But it'll do. Anyway, as you guys were doing, please destroy that. Or slave there as well. That's it. Whoop the... Huh? Why did that guy hurt me? What the hell did he do to me? <clears throat> Oh, I see you, big lummox. 
Hmm. Okay, so what's this guy's deal? This apparition does not appear to be able to interact with you. I'm trying to see if something, anything happens when I stand here. Pure Sovo. Hmm. Well, maybe back in time is the way to go. I guarantee you this isn't going to work either, trying to fight that guy. So let's not, let's not, let's not. Follow Get in me. Line. Follow me. Okay, Going okay. back in time. Have I been clicking on Tommy? Uh,. No more than usual. <laughs> Should I be doing something with Tommy? Get down, get down, get down, get down. Don't go buggy. Don't go buggy. Hello. Uh, hello. Questions. Uh, words of power. Create a race. Hmm. Ah. Okay. Here I thought the different puzzles were to get rid of the golems, but the different puzzles are to get rid of the wards that are locking the door. Getting rid of the Golems is a different thing. Is there a way I could convince you to not finish building the golem? If I do not complete the golem, the mistresses will torture me until I beg for death, and they will grant it to me in gruesome fashion. I could free you from your enslavement. Where would I go? The lizard people rule the entire world. I would be a fugitive forever on the run, knowing the horrible fate awaits if I am captured. Strike a bl great blow against the tier. Oh, I am a high ranking privileged slave. This guy. Look, I know I'm a shit slave, but things could always get worse. I suppose that's not incorrect. I'm allowed to choose a mate, and I am rarely beaten. Your offer is nothing compared to that. Here's Lokar's ring. He said you'd help me. Why did you not say so earlier? If Lokar sent you, your mission must be of great importance to the fate of all those enslaved by the Creator Race. Okay, I guess I guess I just didn't talk to this guy the first time around. I thought he was just like everybody else. If I do not build the golems, the masters will ha will know I have aided you. But it might be possible for me to construct the golem with a single. Oh, he's only building one single subtle flaw that they will not detect. This will give the golem one fatal vulnerability. I can only introduce one flaw. Any more than the mistresses would surely notice. Should I make the golem vulnerable to fire, cold, blunt weapons, or slashing and piercing? Tommy and I are using slashing and piercing. I mean, I could use spells on it, but slashing and piercing, please. I shall do as you have asked. However, my change will only affect the golem I am working on. There are other golems, but you would have to speak to the slaves building them or they will be invulnerable. Now, please go before the mistresses see you here. Good! Alright! So I just gotta talk to these other dudes. Potion of Charisma. Um, I think I knew that they existed. I don't think I've used one yet. <clears throat> but thank you, Chris. Eagle Splendor, I think, is the one you're thinking of. Oh, excuse me, I yawned. How very unprofessional of me. I want you to help me with the stupid golems. Where do I, how do I get to that? Golem guardians. 
Is there any way I can convince you to not finish building the golem? Think about what you want for the golem. Good for you? Failure. Okay, that's what it's going to do. Uh, I've got this ring here. Why did you not say so earlier? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Slashing and piercing. I should do as you, as you have asked. However, my change will only affect the golem I am working on. That's totally fine, because I'm talking to the other dudes as well. The other dude is this way? I am not working tomorrow. I'm off. Though, <clears throat> starting next week, I am going back to full time. It's a damn shame. Greetings. Call them guardians. Convince you to stop. Ah, eh, nobody wants to be free. Okay, here's the ring. We'll do that, do that, slashing and piercing, we're all good. Okay. Extend stream tonight? Yeah, sure, we can we can stretch it out. Do you guys wanna extend and just do a chill hangout time like we did last time? Or do you want to actually play a game? If you do want to play a game, then start why am I walking this way? I could have just gone to the sundial in the other room. Oh well. Start thinking about it and let me know. But yeah, I can hang out. Hang out. Time to heal. Uh, yes. Uh, let's hit the sundial first. Temporal slave. Okay. Quick rest. Quick rest. Whatever you want. Walter will roll with it. Cool, Daddy-o. Hmm? Disease? Who caught a disease? Tommy caught a disease? Why did he catch a disease? Totally check out a game made by... Remember the science definitely isn't going to tell you stuff right at this very moment. <gasps> I could, you know, uh, Max, right before we started up the stream. I went and purchased it from you. That's okay, Chris. Uh, we appreciate you being here as long as you are able to hang out. Last time we just had a little, probably about an hour after we finished streaming, we just sat around and talked. And what did we talk about? History? Get in line. Follow me. I guess. All right, let's rough this guy up. Ha 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 ha! That's what I was trying to do. Hmm. I love this part. There we go. We're doing it. Yes, some of the most historical, important uh, people who had. The largest influence on world history, I think, was our topic of conversation. Okay, we're getting them. It's working. Very slowly. These guys aren't really doing damage, just me and Tommy, I think. Concentration failure. Damn! Oh well, just let's just concentrate on killing him. There's one. Yes, that's correct. Religious figures. Tensor's transformation. Riddle of light, riddle of light. Oh, Caillou. Yeah, I forgot about Caillou. Ah, shit. Well, it's, this is fine. Hmm.
art topic. Yeah, I thought it was a fun, cool hangout time. Uh oh, Tommy's feared. He's a feared. Fuck all the guy. All my homies hate guy. Glad to see everybody agrees with me. Old one defenses, translation amulets. Yes, okay. <gasps> Gator! Gator's here just in time to start a rant. Okay. Secondary colors. So, in the secondary color, we want to put a purple gem, right? Do we want to put both purple gems, or just one? Primary colors. There are gems embedded in the bottom of the pool. Upon close examination, you see a red, blue, and yellow gem. Press one of the three. Um, we did purple, right? So red. Blood red. Cool. Be cool if that showed up, but it doesn't. That's okay. Gators here. Time to derail the stream. <clears throat> red, blue, and yellow. Uh, blue. Sky blue. So that's purple, red, blue. I think I want to put the other purple one in here. They gave me two for a reason, right? How do you grab an individual thing? So just one. Pick up just one. Split. No? Can't split. Okay. Let's do this then. Let's just... Oh, rats. I already did that. I already... You won't let me undo that. Okay. Take this back. Split this. Because I think what I need to do is this. And that. There we go. It's all glowy. It's good. I got it. Okay, so that should be one of the wards, right? <clears throat> I haven't checked this room in the future. Ow! Ugh. Almost killed me. Unlocking the door of three. One of the locks of the door of three has been opened. Blah. That's probably what you're talking about with clicking on Tommy, right? Chris? Hmm. Okay. It's locked. Excuse me. Let you guys through. That's why I clicked Tommy. I know, I know, I know. I didn't even think about the trap, honestly. Didn't think there was a possibility of it being a trap. Okay, this time I will... Where is he? This time I will click on Tommy. Tommy! Wait, wait. No. Nope. What can Tommy do for you? I'd like you to level up. I'm always useful. Seeing as I've gained a bit of skill, though, let me sit down for a moment. Let me make sure you what I can do now. He could look. Eh? What can Tommy do? He could have leveled up. I never did it. Hmm. Wait a minute, what did that just do? Oh, I think I get it now, okay. 
You just click on his character pick. <clears throat> right click on it, I guess, yeah. Come on, Tommy. Get in line. Follow me. So he can't run while he's doing this. Okay, there we go. Got it. It's kind of annoying that you have to click back and forth. Uh, it's done. I mean, I get it. It's fine. Okay, but I wish they would have just said, you know what, he just has regular old detect trap skills. You don't have to do anything special about it. Uh, special to get it. Get in line. Follow me. Okay, okay. Traps? Better save. Okay, okay. Uh, it's I have the weirdest party. One guy's trying to unlock it. A cat and an air elemental are trying to attack it. And I'm a weird, overconfident, goofy <laughs> dude who can turn into a bear. Okay, let's rest, because we're near death. Get the long, long, slow resting. Click on his character pick and select search. Like that? That's toggle search mode. I don't want to toggle it though. I guess that's the only way to do it though. I don't know. Unless you know a way that I'm not privy to. I'll click my character pick and select search. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't I don't care that I don't like that it, you have to toggle it. It's annoying. Or whoa, wait a minute. I just had I just toggled it on. So uh I don't know. I guess maybe it turns off by default after you uh, it's so stupid. I don't get it. Whatever, you know what? I'll just take the traps. Okay, it's fine. Okay. I'll just get hit by a trap every now and then and die and have to reload. I don't care that much. I appreciate it, Chris. But uh, it's done. Yeah, that sucks. I'd rather just save frequently and reload when needed. <laughs> I'll take my chances. Three out of every four times the trap doesn't kill me anyway, so Hey, does this guy have something to say now that I've killed the golem? You're still here? So walk these halls. Okay. Maybe once I destroy all the golems, they'll be able to talk to me? Okay. Here we go. Yeah. You're not wrong, Tatum. Aha! We got the drop on him. Get him, Socks! I kind of thought Socks would do slashing damage. I guess not. Getting there. We can do it. We can do it! Oh! Did Socks do- no, that was- that was Tommy. 
So what kind of damage does socks do? Hang on a second. Let me see his uh, character sheet. I guess I can't do that without going to my character sheet. Hmm. Where's Sox's character sheet? Play? We can play? You laugh as you tossle the animal's head and it makes playful effort at trying to bite at your hand. Oh. That's less interesting than I thought. Pet? Your companion is pleased when you pat it, brushing back against you in a friendly manner. Feed? Sheet and left too. My gosh. and left too hmm so like right click on the picture left left no I'm not following he is very good and deserves pettings I get it I don't do it enough examine ah there we go there we go there we go there we go okay uh, 14, blah, 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 blah. Main attack. Unarmed. Alignment title Reconciler. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't say anything about what kind of damage he does. Oh, well, okay, it's fine. It's not important, it's not important, it's not important. Um, let's see, we haven't checked this room either on account of it being now in the future. How much you want to bet something in here is trapped and wants to kill me? It is. Ah, okay. I was thinking because he's got claws and teeth, it'd be slashing or piercing, but unarmed counts as its own kind of attack, huh? Ah, uh, it's done. Yeah, damn it. 187. Whew. Okay, okay. Ah, it's done. Oh, are we now? We've been around long enough to know that you can do it. Okay, this is probably going to be a bit of a tough fight. I bet there's skeletons and a revenant and all kinds of... No can do. Did I not take the golem's key? I guess I never picked it up, did I? Did not. Da, 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 Uh-oh, old one Bodak champion. So it's not a bunch of different dudes, it's just one dude. About a little fire, Scarecrow. That was a good one. Do that again. Rest? I'll never rest. There we go. See? We did it. Oh. Um, where's that one sprite? <laughs> I need her to show me how to do this again. I've forgotten. Fairy bottle. Use. Uh, there, I guess. The gongs! I know the secret! Tell you I will, and then I'll- then free I'll be! Okay, knock yourself out, young lady. So that, that, then that, 
then that, I think. That's my favorite gong sound. Ping. Oh. Okay. Got it. That was it, right? There. Those are my eight notes. Aren't they pretty? All right. Gong. Oh, I did it. And then I think this one. Gong note played. Okay, I didn't hear the audio file, but thank you. And this. And this, right? Kablamo! Oh! Is she free? I hope she's free. hope that I didn't just uh, send her to hell or anything. Da 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 Ow. Identified dagger. Box the door of three have been opened. Two of them. <clears throat> All right. Uh, here, let's rest. I can check these other chests, but I want to make sure I don't uh, get hit by a trap. That's probably true. Better dead than stuck in a bottle for 10,000 years. How did she end up in the bottle? We didn't find that part of the story out. She was traipsing around in 10,000 years ago. I can't we come back to the present and she's in a bottle. Oh, and I gotta summon my elemental here. You go for it, Socks. You just knock yourself out, man. Eh. Sounds like Socks got it. Okay, one riddle left. Okay, Gollum, let's see what you got. Give me all you got. Get in line. Follow me. To the fight, my friends. Attack! Hmm. What if this is gonna work? If we're all gonna get stuck. Like if Tommy can get by me. Tommy can't get by me. Okay, good. Socks! No! Eh, it's okay, honestly. Oops. Damn. That sounds like fighting a Wimmer construct. Dodging a lot of his attacks, that's good. Yeah, I I keep meaning to tell myself to cast Magic Fang and Greater Stone Skin every time I'm done resting, and I always forget. Yeah. 
This is the last one, right? This is the third one. We're almost done. What kind of bug you got up your butt, man? Just hang on. bothering to do this. It's not worth very much, but I'm doing it anyway. more all right skeleton champions are easy in the easy these days skeleton chieftains whatever <laughs> Also locked. Ah, uh, it's done. Hmm? Oh, taking care of the trap there, thank you. Ale. No. Colored residue coats the surface of this cold brazier. Embedded in the side of the brazier are three gems. The top gem is an orange sunstone. Below it resides a purple amethyst. Found there's a piece of green. So top down, it's orange, purple, green. Some writing has been placed on the easel. Easel, a rambling discussion about the values of the creator race. The old ones believed strongly in the power of certain gems, but a firm hierarchy was set in place. The least magical was seen to be malachite, Amethyst. Uh, oh, I didn't even notice that. Amethysts were prized highly, but emeralds were revered above all. Custer Murphy, hello, how are you? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Cool of you to hang out with us this evening. Um, sorry, hang on one second. Whoops. I clicked out of this the window. One moment. One moment. Pixie and play anything. Well, the nap, the the nap. The cat is currently napping. We're gonna bring him back here in just a second. Stand by. Probably need one of each, right? Can we read this? Whoops, not you. Nope. No, damn it. Over here. Get in line. Follow me. Okay, oh, okay. by the way, yeah, here's socks. Customer fee is doing very well. Guess what? So are we. You're doing very well. Uh, top gem is an orange sunstone. Hmm. Hang on a second. The sickly sweet smell emanates from the bubbling flasks and vials on this table. It appears to be the work of some form of alchemy. Orange. How do I make it into orange? I've got yellow and red. Hmm. Empty canvas sits upon the easel, ready for the painter's brush. 
Just complete Witcher Season 1 this week. Wasn't half bad. Hmm. You read any of the books? I've never played the games or read the books. Thing maybe I have to put them in in a certain. No, this is gonna work. Nothing appears to happen. Perhaps it's the wrong combination. Okay, you just gotta put them in in a certain order. Got it. Um, purple was next, right? Haha! -ha! The triumphant music. Journal's been updated. Does that tell me that the last uh, thing has been solved? All three locks. Whew! Good. Okay, let's go get that damn word of power, then. Hopefully, um... I'm just gonna cast this while I'm thinking about it. Hopefully... At least the inner Monet. Yes, I see how I am uh, inspired. The muse, she must move me. Uh, we'll see if we have to find anything inside this door. That's what I was going to say. Oh, still got to go through the lightning door. Ow. Ah, no contest. I got it, baby. Relax. What the? Whoa. The magic of the creator race compels me to destroy you. Who the fuck are you, Balor Lord? Challenge rating impossible. Well, that's just great. <laughs> With their flaming wings and skull like count. Oh, it's a Balrog, basically. Okay. These demons are among the greatest and most feared of their kind. Damage increased. Attack increased. Damage reduction. Damage resistance. Damage immunity increased. To electrical. Immune to poison, spell resistance increased. Yeah. Did I skip the chests in the last room? I thought that we got them all, but maybe. Yeah. Balor? Yeah, I think he is. Through the fight, my friends! Attack! Okay, good start. 13 damage. Where's Socks? There you are, Socks. Come on. 29. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. Whoa. Okay. Didn't know he could do that. What the? Summon Succubus. Take him as my muse. No, I think you're right. That's a bad idea. Reload this here in a second. Did that do anything? Absorbs 19, absorbs 10. Ah, rats. Drown? It's not gonna work, but sure. Click in and read. I did! I did! Did you not see me do it? Nope, drown didn't do shit.
Well, just keep casting whatever offensive spells I have. Okay. Oh shit, here he comes. This is not good. I'm resisting the hell out of his uh, damage, though. Release the pixie and the cat! <laughs> Uh, Alright, what the hell? Let's try lightning. Didn't even hit him. I mean, I would actually really like my odds in this fight if um, he hadn't killed my entire party in one fell swoop. As it is. Gotta be quick, gotta be quick, gotta be quick. Don't open the door yet. Okay. What's with the gong? Get down, get down, get down, get brown it, brown it. Baylor. <laughs> yeah, he is. Is it Central Texas? Is that where it is? I honestly don't know anything. Like, I know college names, but I couldn't tell you where they are or what their affiliations are or what they're good at. Like, when I hear people talk about college sports, especially like college football and basketball, everybody's like, oh, George Mason's looking good this year, or oh, look out for Illinois, or watch out for A&M. It's like, I mean, I know where they are if the state is literally in the name of their college, but otherwise I have no idea who the fuck you're talking about. I am cool, and they are the gang. <sighs> Alright, we got socks. Let's summon our friendly elemental. Good. Water. I prefer that over fire, I think, against that weird demon guy. Do that. We'll do this. We'll do... Um, I forget what this one does. Target an animal companion gains 4 strength, 4 constitution, wisdom, attack rolls as long as it remains the druid side. Oh, okay. Vitality, gonna remind myself of this one. All allies within the area effect receive a plus four bonus to strength, constitution, and dexterity. Yes, also worth it. Energy buffer. Okay, and just because we can, let's um, pause it really quick and just take a few potions because we got some here. I don't know if he's gonna fear anybody. He might. Take a speed. Um, take a bless. Take an aid. Take an endurance. And give everybody else an endurance too. And I'll say that's good enough for starters. Yeah, no kidding. He's one of the... the um, the Balrogs, I think, were the equivalent of the Maiar. They were like demigods, basically. Like when when Gandalf fought a Balrog, he was basically fighting one of his class. I'm gonna quick save it, even though that's maybe not advisable. Get in line. Follow me. Get in line. Follow me. Attack nearest, my friends. Attack. Let's use the flames on him because it works. Did it work? I don't even know. Okay, everybody but Sox is dead. Sox is still hanging in there. That's good. He must have resisted whatever crazy spell that was. Damn, succubus! Get away from me, foul temptress! Hmm. Cloud part two. Possibly. He didn't take any damage from the lightning there. Which I think is to be expected. How is she not dead yet? Come on.
Oh, sucks. Oh, sucks. Sucks is not gonna last very long. Hmm. What else do I got? Drown didn't seem to work. Um. Let's just let's just punch him. Uh oh, um, not gonna not gonna make it. Hmm. This is a little unfair, you know. They they sprung this on me. I didn't know I was gonna have to fight fight this guy. <sighs> get down, get down, get down, get down. Get down, get down, get down, get down. I thought one of these, aid or bless, affected the whole party, and now I can't remember. Maybe not. I don't know. It doesn't say in the description. Jungle buggy. Jungle buggy. Alice Wisdom. Um. Any other tricks up my sleeve here? Fox is cunning. Here, take a bark skin. Cast stone skin on Tommy. Cast bark skin on the elemental. Let's quick save it again. And let's rock! Wrong way. Let's rock! There is a potion of death immunity, huh? No can do. I don't think I have that. Ah, critical hit. That's a good start. And the elemental's already half dead. I think she did that so she could cast. Whoa, he's badly wounded already. Holy shit. Ah, he's hopping. What an idiot. Tommy and I stand triumphant. Look at that. We just had to buff the shit out of ourselves. Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. Now, watch this trap instantly kill me. Okay, okay. Nope. Didn't have it. Yeah, dude. 80s action movies, I'll reference them all day. Oops. We are. Let's uh, let's see. Let's stick to. Let's. Well, we won't have to stick to. We can go to anything. But since we're doing it, uh, Cameron films and okay, McTiernan films. References. Um, let's see. Oh, lava. Kind of perfect for. Uh, Terminator 2 reference, perhaps. I know now why you cry. Or, yeah, Predator. <laughs> I think... I always love the part in Predator when uh, Mac, the, the black character uh, who's not Carl Weathers, uh, I think his, the actor's name is Bill Duke, I think. When he, like, kind of flips out there at the end and he chases, like, runs off into the woods and they're like, Mac, no, come back! Um... Good luck on finding a chopper. 
Uh, he runs off into the woods, and then like he's he's all first he's all crazy. He's like, ah! You've only ever seen one McTiernan film, Walter. And which one was it? If you say Thirteenth Warrior, I'm gonna be like, dude, you gotta get your shit together. Um, I'm gonna ha- oh, that's right. He's going. I'm gonna have me some fun. I'm gonna have me some fun. Oh, Die Hard. Yeah, Die Hard's probably the best one. Um, hey, Parsnip, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Glad you could join me this week. Uh, but I'm always, I always think of the part when Carl Weathers finds him. I think it's Carl Weathers, right? And he's like, carves up his mouth. He's like, I see him out there in the trees. <laughs> Cause he just seems so fucking crazy. I always think of that like a, like a grizzled old war vet who's just like, I see him out there in the trees. Uh, what a great movie. What a fantastic movie. Predator. John McTiernan had a killer run there, uh, and he kind of gets forgotten a little bit, I think, in the whole, like, 80s action movie directors with, like, Verhoeven, who's one of my favorites, and James Cameron, and... But, yeah, McTiernan had Die Hard, Predator... <sighs> there was a third movie he had. I don't know if they were all in a row. There was a third really popular action film that he had in the 80s that I cannot remember at the moment. Hmm. Uh, oh, wait. Did we get the word of power? Where's the word of power? What's my journal say? Whoop. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was going to rest anyway, but I wasn't ready. Oh, I didn't click on the altar. I got distracted with, with 80s movies quotes. Last Boy Scout. Is that the one that I'm thinking of? I have to pull up IMDb to be sure. Alright, Alter. I said Alter, not Walter. Word of power. Oh, here she comes. The third word is yours. But time is short and more eggs stirs. <laughs> the city you call Neverwinter is under siege. Cloris Leachman, everybody. Soon will fall to Morgan. And he will possess the source stone. <laughs> source stone? What's the source stone? Morag was the queen of my people. The old ones, the creator race. It was she who created the source stone when the world became cold and the snow covered the land. Ah, uh, reptiles hate snow. It's got the kind of shreds. To put her people into hmm? a deep hibernation when the cold winter came. Imprisoning the heat of the steaming fissures in the magical source stone. And her and all her people with it. Source stone. Yeah, I know. They're introducing a lot of stuff here at the end. Collecting heads, words of power, source stones. He has a... Is that three digit hands? Three digit hands, and the middle digit is the biggest one. Um, uh, her people within it. Why would she imprison herself inside this source stone? Some foul reason, I'm sure. But let's hear it. The old ones could not survive the coming of the winter storm. <laughs> so annoying. Morag sought a shelter where she could escape the death of ice and cold. I don't know if I could be a friend of a person who hissed that often. Within the source stone, Morag would gather her strength year after year, century after century. <laughs> when her power waxed full, we word slaves would awaken the queen to banish the never ending winter. <gasps> never ending winter? But the name of the game is Never Winter. So you think if Morag wakes, she'll turn the north into a tropical jungle? Doesn't sound too bad. The stone is Morag is greenhouse gases. The plot of Neverwinter Nights is climate change. Stop it. It even in Stormy State, the magical of the... Okay. Imagine what will happen. 
and when the power is awakened fully and released. Oh, Those who more egg when we need less egg. <laughs> He will be bound to the words of power once more. I will not allow this to happen. Okay, baby, keep it together. You got Bark Badgernath here. <laughs> um. So this is the story of why Neverwinter is Neverwinter because the Source Stone in Neverwinter keeps the winter away. Is that right? That's what I'm understanding here. That's kind of cool. A little lore there. Morag was foolish to trust her fate to a group of slaves. Do I care about that? No, I don't know. Uh, how did Margram become involved in all this? Something has awakened Morag's spirit. Though her body and true power remain trapped in the Source Stone for now, she speaks to Morgrim through projections as I am speaking to you. Hope I can trust this lady. Morgrim serves her. Poor, blinded by her promises of rewards and power. <laughs> the plague was the first step in Morag's return. Each death fed the Queen's power, bringing her closer to a true awakening. Yeah, Morag's the big bad, Malgrim's her lieutenant, basically, I think, Custer. Um, uh, okay, so, I feel like they told the voice actor for this character here, just, like, you're gonna earn your paycheck in ham, just go hog wild, baby. Go full tilt. Ham it up. Now, Morgan seeks to claim the words of power the Lord's Alliance has hidden in Castle Never to complete the awakening. If he succeeds. Morag will bring complete and utter devastation to the north. Somehow. This is not what you want to hear from your hero. I will stop him. Somehow. You must return to Neverwinter. Return. Before the city falls. Speak to the one you call Aaron Gend. I will try to meet you there. Wait, is Aaron Gend not Aaron Gend? Does she know who that is? She says, speak to the one that I call Aaron Gend, as if there's some other dude, like, or if Aaron Gend is known by something else. Or is that just, like, an alien thing, like, ah, one of your Earth people, Aaron Gend, or something. Portal card. Okay, I was gonna say, because I, I think, oh, back at the ruins. And, mm. I could just use the Stone of Recall. I do have still supposedly to do uh, this. Obold. But I mean, I don't know if I can really be bothered. 97,000 XP, 105,000 to level. <sighs> I just feel like whatever XP they're going to give me isn't going to be enough to level up before the final fight of the game anyway, so should I bother? That's what I feel like. Let's go get old, old many arrows. I have to go find his damn cave. I don't know where that is. Um, when what I can do is just go back to... I swear I finished this, but okay. You some, I guess. Do I need to go talk to you some now that I've finished the, the quest with Zokan? Anyway, apart from uh, turning in the words of power, the Obold thing is the only other quest here that I need to finish. So I kind of feel like, should I bother trying to go find the damn cave? If. Oh, wait a minute. It's a Fort Ilkart. It's this way. I thought it brought me out down here. Hey, Yodi! Hi, how are you, man? Welcome to the stream. Glad to see you. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Should I do the stupid Obol quest for a minimal amount of XP that between now and the final big bad probably won't get me over the threshold to level up anyway? If I was, like, 2,000 away, I would go do it. But being, like, 
seven or eight thousand away. Whatever it is. Eight thousand, I think. Damas, no. Where's Yusam? Who the hell is Yusam, then? Oh, the druid! Right, 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 right. So I can, I do need to, uh... He's in the Bay Rune as well circle with the other, um, uh, um, uh, shit, what is he with the, the other barbarians, the elk tribe people, not the elk tribe people, Uthgar. Finishing less videos than Morrowind. Skip the quest. <laughs> Tandem's got a rooting interest here. He's proposing that we skip the quest. I think I'm going to skip it. I'm, I'm saying this out loud to you guys because I'm trying to convince you, I think, that we should just skip it. Uh, Alright, let's not talk to Nurik just yet. Try to find this Usam. Excuse me! <sighs> Jerk. He's up here. Oh my god, what is with people today? They're getting. Somebody's in my face. Usam, here we go. Uh, yeah, Zoken asked me to show this Dreamcatcher to you. That's why I have the Dreamcatcher. I forgot why I had it. I recognize this Elk Tribe token, says your son. It is a symbol of truce and contrition. It must me mean that Zoken is apologizing for what his tribe has done. I will send my emissaries at once to reestablish relations with the Elk people. Yeah, see, XP 750. I guarantee I wouldn't get a thousand for the Obol quest, so fuck it. You have done as I asked, my child, and investigated this matter for me. As such, you have earned your reward. I do not have much to give, but please accept this ring for your efforts. Thank you, fellow druid. You're most generous. I'm not going to push a druid for more re reward. We're a fellow. We're, we're both druids. Is there anything else I might do for you? Oh, supplies? Hmm. <laughs> I could just sell the same ring back to him. It would be kind of funny. Guessing I don't need the time crystals anymore? You're not going to let me sell the time crystals, damn you. Anything interesting? Hmm. Owl's Wisdom. Those. Hmm. Um. Oh, later, Yodi. Yeah, cool. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Hope you have a good uh, weekend. All right. Guess I'm not buying anything else from you. Okay. So, then the only other thing we have to do is talk to Aaron. I'm not going to do that yet. I'll go see Nurik. I probably should have just seen Nurik first. How the hell do I get out of here? Where? There we go. I got it all turned around. Yodi says you too. What's the wolves about? Oh, Nurik! Probably the last time we'll come to see you. Unless you follow us to Neverwinter. <sighs> oh, hello again, Bark. Healing. No, I don't need healing right now. Supplies. Elemental resistance. Acid, cold, electrical, fire. Um... Saving throws plus three. You know what? I'm not going to get rid of this. I'll hold on to it. I don't think I'm going to use it, but in the event that I... Oh, I have two of them. In the event that I have to fight something that's doing crazy elemental damage to me, I can perhaps switch. Necklace of Prayer Beads. Um, cure serious wounds, remove blindness, deafness, remove disease. Oh, speaking of, I should switch back to my 
regular necklace, which is not on this screen, I don't think. Hang on, what's this one? Amulet of Power! Only usable by wizard. Ooh, that's pretty cool, though. I bought a spell slots. That's nice. Can I sell the top? Yes. Hmm. Where'd my normal... Ugh! So much shit that clutters up my inventory I don't need anymore. I don't know, need those colored gems at all. Or the time crystal. Any of this shit. Don't need that either, I bet. Anyway, where the hell's my normal amulet? That's what I'm looking for. Ice Talon. <laughs> Can't sell that. That's aggravating. Can sell that for some reason. Lokar's ring. Do anything? No. Can I sell it? Probably not. No. Ah! I think this is what I was wearing before. This time I can sell the fire opals. Don't know what I was saving them for. Yeah, I'm gonna sell it. Okay. Eric, I probably have some more potions I want to buy from you. Like... Stack would be so easy. Um, eight, I could use a couple more of those. Bless, I could use a couple more of those. Heal. I have 13. I have 20. Perfect. Oh, Topaz. <sighs> well, I have just been buying the hell out of potions these last uh, few sessions. Because I've been facing enemies that kick my nuts off. Yes, that's what I said. Kick my nuts off. What do we get? Roll the dice and draw a, an air elemental. All right, let's find Aaron again, because otherwise we're done here in Baron as well, I think. Let's see in here. Or is it over there? Aaron. Yeah, here he is. Oh, Grimnaw. You're yeah, he helped back. me kill the dragon. Have you something to report? I do. I have several of the words of power, I think. This is good news. And the gods know we have had precious little enough of that lately. With Erebeth at their head, the Luscan forces are winning victory after oh, victory over right, the Alliance troops. And all the while, Magram and his cult continue their search for the words of power. Yes, I was aware of this. At least there is one here they will not have. My loyal network of scouts will spirit the word away to Castle Neverwinter, for safekeeping until Lord Nasher's scribes can discover its use. You mean Lord Nasher... Alaganda. On behalf of the city of Neverwinter and Lord Nasher himself, please accept this reward of twenty-five well, shit. gold pieces. I didn't know they were talking about gratitude. <laughs> I didn't know they were gonna give me XP for each individual word I turn in. Ah, okay, maybe it will be worth it to go find Old Bolt here. We'll find out in a second. Um, twenty-five hundred gold. That's that's fine, dude. That's good. Uh, you're most generous, Aaron. Thank you for this reward. If my sources are correct. There are still several more words of power yet to be found. I hope your success at locating the words continues. Bark. Uh, I think you should know about a female lizard man I ran into. Female lizard man. Just say a, one of the creator race. She said her name was Hadraline. She seemed to want to help. She hisses a lot. Don't get annoyed with it if she shows up to you. 
Normally, Neverwinter counts the Lizardmen amongst her enemies. But your news is not completely unexpected. I have received reports of a lizard creature and her followers doing battle with Malgrim's cult. Oh, so she is truly an ally then. This must be that Hadrilene you mentioned. I will need to consider this new information carefully. It's Pemguana. It is! But oh, is why did I think concern. of that? You must focus on finding the words. I wish you luck in your mission. Return to me once you have another of the words. Sorry, guys. I feel like my allergies are acting up again tonight. Watery eyes. Sniffly. Ugh. Okay, dude, but I, I have the... Hey, don't go away anywhere. The I have the words. The winter is forever in your debt for recovering the first word of power. We hope you will have continued success on your mission to thwart Margrave and his followers. But now is not the time to dwell on past successes. There are more words yet to be found before Margrim gets his claws. Yeah, dude, I got one right here. Why didn't you say something earlier? <laughs> I wanted to. You wouldn't let me. Hopefully this will slow the armies advancing on Neverwinter. At the very least, the loss of another word of power will strike a harsh blow to the plans of Mulgrim's cult, whatever they may be. Yes. Whatever his plans are. Her plans, I mean. You have done well. The Lord's Alliance and Neverwinter are grateful for your efforts. And on their behalf, I would like to give you this reward of 3,000 gold 3,000 that time, huh? Oh, I ran into Hadrilene again. Hadrilene? Hadrilene, What did whatever. the lizard woman have to say this time? Yeah, there we go. Let's call her a lizard woman. That's, it's weird to call her a female lizard man. Uh, she spoke of the ancient creator races. She's claimed to be one of them. I think she's a friend. I'm no history expert, but wouldn't that make her thousands of years old? Rather sarcastic. I'm not sure whether I believe her, and I don't know what this has to do with Margum, but I intend to try and find out. Okay, you do that. Leave Hadrilene to me. Margum and his crew are still skulking around the countryside, which means they must believe there's at least one more word still undiscovered. Find it before they do. I have it. I wish you luck in your <sighs> mission. The very survival of Neverwinter may depend on. I have it. I got it. It's right I here. I just received the latest <sighs> reports from the battlefield, and things are grim. <laughs> reports are coming in on a minute basis. The Lord's Alliance has retreated to Castle Never under the events are moving quickly. Oh, okay. Erebeth, with her intimate knowledge of our strategies, crushes our forces in every encounter. Half the city is under the control of her Luskin forces. And what of your mission? found the success our troops have not? Yes, Erengand, I have found another word of power. <laughs> Finally, some good news. And not a moment too soon. Even now, I am preparing to leave no kidding, as Tam. Neverwinter to help ensure the words I sent there for safekeeping are not captured by Erebeth. Kind of reminds me, um, there's, uh, uh, maybe you guys have seen it, the movie Wet Hot American Summer, which was made by basically like the cast of The State, along with a few other actors and actresses, Janine Garofalo and David Hyde Pierce and others. Um, but there's a scene in it where Joe Latrulio and Ken Marino have to like rescue a bus full of kids that like fall into a river. And it's this dramatic scene, and the whole the way that they film it is they film Joe and Ken standing on the riverbank, and then Ken runs out of frame to rescue them, and the whole rest of the, like you're like, oh, what's happening? But the, they don't actually show the scene; they just show Joe the truth standing on the on the bank of the river, narrating what he's doing in a really excited voice, like, oh, he's grabbing the kids, he's swimming them to shore. Oh no, they're gonna get stuck under the bridge. Oh no, he's avoided the bridge. They're making it to the bank. They're all out. Like, it's, I don't know. It's, I think we've talked about this before. It's like the there's a South Park episode where somebody does that, right? Like fighting. It's like Lord of the Rings. They're describing some big battle, except they're not showing the battle. It's just a character describing the battle. This kind of with this like reports are coming in. Bark. We're getting crazy. Like it's just the fact that it's one after the other. Clearly, I'm supposed to be turning these in like over the course of me collecting them, but I'm just turning them in all at once. And the result is that like Aaron's like, oh, we've got big news <laughs> in the last ten seconds. Just funny. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Captured by Airbreath. Got it. You're in charge, huh? I might as well open my coffers to you before we go. Ooh. The money was meant to fund the defense of the city. But we've already lost. And you seem to have done more oh. for that cause than anyone else. Better I give the funds to you than let the Luskin forces loot them. 
You have done well. Take this reward of 4,500 gold coins. You have earned it. Thank you. And there is more where that came from. Who? If you accompany me to Neverwinter to aid in defending the city. The Lord's Alliance desperately needs someone such as you. Of course, Errant. As long as my body draws breath, I will fight to save at Neverwinter and its patron, Lord Nasher Alaganda. Well, hurrah! Time grows short. We must return to Castle Never to defend its walls and the words of power within from Arabeth and Malcolm. We will leave right now if you are ready. Shit. Well, I guess I don't have the option to, uh... Oh. Whoa! Ah, oh, I was gonna check my character level. The words of power. Oh well. The tools of a creator race. Hadrilene spoke of them as though they could shape worlds. And perhaps they had. With these in hand, victory would not be far behind. Or so it was thought. While Eringend searched for the ancient relics, Morgrim's army pressed their attacks They've got against dragons? Neverwinter. Their dark magics and sheer numbers soon overwhelmed the defenders. Oh, God. The betrayer, Erebeth, was at the forefront when the walls were breached. The words of power, once thought safe within Castle Never, were in danger of falling to the enemy. And behind the invasion, an even greater evil, Morag, queen of the old ones. 4,500 gold would weigh 400 pounds, 450 pounds. <whistles> That's heavier than a dragon's head, I imagine. Well, damn, I didn't get to... Uh, oh, it's Lord Nasher Alagander. I didn't get to go... Oh, shit. I mean, they wouldn't have given me 3,000 XP for... Um, or even 2,500, I don't think. For uh, uh, Obol's head, but I bet that it would have been enough for me to level up before the final fight, given the XP I'll get here back in Neverwinter. Then again, maybe the XP I'll get here in Neverwinter, if it's more than twenty-five hundred, it'll get me to level up anyway. So maybe it doesn't matter that much. I don't know. Greetings. Okay, he's really into this greetings thing, so let's talk to him really quick. We meet again, as you know. I am Nasha Alagonda, Lord of Neverwinter. I was once an adventurer like you, though that was long ago. Yes, we know. I think you should really consider saying your name with more gusto, more gravitas, Lord Nasha Alagonda. Erin Gend tells me you have done much in the defense of our He's just city. ignoring me. <laughs> For this I okay, thank you. back to business. Though I fear it was all in Oh, stop with pessimism. Erebeth knows our defenses too well. Ah. We could not stand against her forces. Ah. The enemy has breached our wall. Peh. All is lost. Weakness. Do not give up hope, my lord. Oh, right. We still have the words of power, after all. Yes. I agree. And what good has that done, Erin? We have no way to use them. Whatever magic is lost within those stone in this tablets game. is of no use to us. That'd be why players force random NPCs to come along with them when they are found funny so they can become a pack fuel. <laughs> yeah. He's like, whoa, you can handle 450 pieces of gold? You're coming with me. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Perhaps Hadrilene will reveal their secret to us if you release her from the dungeons. She's in the dungeons? I don't trust that creature, Erin, and neither should you. We have done her no harm. If she was truly our ally, she would tell us what she knows. She has, sir. Hadrilene told us about the secret door beneath Castle Never. Without her, we would never have found the Source Stone. And what good has that done, Erin? That creature won't tell us anything about it. The Source Stone is as useless to us as the words of power. Power. Perhaps Hadrilene will speak to our champion. Buck Badrinath. with them before. <laughs> Enough, Erin. Now, Buck. if you want to speak to Hadrilene, you are free to do so. But I will not release her from the dungeon while an enemy is within our city gates. Maybe I'll release her on my own recognizance. Personally, I think this is all a waste of time. 
Words of power, ah. and sore stone, ha. Ha. What good is this against Erebeth's army? Our fate is sealed. This guy li acts like he didn't doesn't live in a D and D universe. He's like, ah, words of power, source stone, pleh. When have magical artifacts ever been useful in our histories? Hmm. Oh yeah, treasure chest would be nice. I just want every time I finish. Ooh, sorry, I hit the mic. Every time I finish a uh, a task, I just want there to be a fanfare that accompanies me finishing it. Da 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 da. -da. da. Lord Nasher, can I ask you some questions, you old grouch? After all you have done for the city, the least I can do is answer your questions. Bark. Although Gend probably knows more than I do. Talk about Hadrilene? We captured the lizard woman slinking around the city shortly after Luskan attacked. After Erebeth's betrayal, I'm not too trusty. So we are keeping her locked. Final Fantasy VII. Is that the one with Cloud? Or is that the one with... Uh... Wait, which is the one? Which is the one's the one with the blonde dude? I played the one with the blonde dude. Is Cloud the dude with the gray hair, the grayish hair, or is he the blonde haired dude? The blonde dude is Cloud. Okay, I've only played. I've only played a, like maybe the first half of Final Fantasy VII, and I remember I got distracted with that water game that they play. The ball game they play in underwater. And I just played that game, like, the mini-game, like, non-stop. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get good at this. And then I just never... That's Final Fantasy X! Who the hell am I thinking of? Who's the blonde dude who plays the ball game? Titus. Titus is the one. Okay, Final Fantasy X is the one I played then, I guess. That's the one where you ride the chickens around? Or do you ride the chickens around in all of them? I don't know enough about the Final Fantasy games. I watched my roommate play one of them. The one with the the dude with the gray grayish blackish hair. He's got the giant blade. They've all got giant blades, but Final Fantasy Nine, I guess. I think it was the one before the Titus one. Anyway, the one with Titus, I just played the little mini game, and then never went back to the rest of the game. I think I just I just stopped. I was like, I got addicted to the mini game, and there went back to the rest of the game. Um, keep her locked in a cell in the dungeon. Okay. She was hissing and babbling about Mogram, wanting the words of power and the source stone. Sounds like Hadrian. We couldn't get much else out of her. She's half mad, I fear, and doesn't seem to trust us. Gend seems to think she might trust you, though. You're free to speak with her in the dungeons if you wish. Thank you. Can you let her out of the dungeon? I'm sorry, but I won't do that. Not while there's an enemy inside the city. She might be an ally, but it's just as likely she's a spy. Okay. Besides, we aren't doing her any harm, only keeping an eye on her. And if she has information to help us, she should be willing to share it whether we keep her in prison or not. Uh, no, that's faulty reasoning, isn't it? They got information. She shouldn't care that we're imprisoning her. She should just give it to us. But no, you don't give away something in a bargaining position without getting something back. You moron. I'm sure I can find Hadrian on my own. Gend something else. Can probably answer your questions better than I. But I'll help you. Words of power. I've given them to Master Ford, Chief Archaeologist of Neverwinter. Yeah, well, Chief Archaeologist. He seems to think there's some link Pretty between good the gig. words and the source stone. Initially, I hoped he could figure out how to unleash their power. But even as wise as Master Ford is, he hasn't been able to learn anything more about the words of power or the Source Stone. Where can I find Master Ford? Since we discovered the Source Stone in the secret chambers beneath Castle Never, Master Ford has spent all his time studying it. You can go speak to him to see what he's discovered if you wish. Though you might have more luck getting information from that creature Hadrilene if you can get her to talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gend can probably answer your questions better than I. Source Stone? When we first captured Hadrilene, she said something about the Source Stone and secret chambers beneath Castle Never. She sounded half crazy, but I thought it was worth looking into. I put Master Ford, Neverwinter's leading archaeological expert, in charge of the search. He unearthed a previously undiscovered chamber beneath the castle. 
There's one other guy, and he's called the senior cat. You know, I just uh, recognized uh, Parsnip. The master archaeologist's last name is Ford. First name Harrison. Character name Indy. Probably, I'm guessing that's where that's that's what a reference to. Uh, he unearthed the previously undiscovered chamber beneath the castle. Let me guess, there were rats. Uh, they were pursuing Nazis. The place got set on fire. Um, he managed to get out. He found his friend Marcus. Inside was an enormous crystalline boulder, the Source Stone. If you want to know more about it, you should speak with Master Ford. Hmm. There were probably snakes. I bet there were snakes. <laughs> Custer and I said it at the same time. <laughs> Okay, something else. Can probably answer your uh, Battle Lions, what's the news? What news, my lord? The reports are grim. Mm. In the initial assault, Luscan overwhelmed us with sheer numbers and the unbridled ferocity of their attack. Damn it. The defenders were forced to fall back to the city core. Erebeth knew our defenses too well. Never stood a chance. Ah. My troops are loyal, but against such odds, there's little hope. It's only a matter of time until Castle Never itself falls. There are dark times ahead. What if I could kill Arabeth and Mauer? Would I volunteer that? If there's no one who... Is there no one who will come to our aid? Is there no one who will come to our aid? Reinforcements from the Lord's Alliance are marching, but they are too far away. Damn. By the time they arrive, all that will remain of Neverwinter is burnt bodies and charred rubble. Which they can resurrect to join their army of vengeance. Okay, what if I can kill, or at least stop, Arabeth and Maugrim? It is too late for that, I fear. Oh. Our defenses are already broken. The damage has been done. He's fully in the we've lost camp here. This is, this is Denethor, for sure. Flee! Flee for your lives! If Arabeth and Maugrim were both slain, there is a chance it might break the spirits of the Luscan invaders. But I wouldn't count on it. The Luskans attacked with a rage and ferocity I have never seen before. Some sinister force drives our enemies forward. Mm. Or perhaps this is justice of a sort. Neverwinter may have brought this doom upon itself. The hell are you talking about? The blood of Fenthic is on my hands. Oh, Fenthic. After the plague, the mob cried for blood, and I gave it to them. Fenthic was guilty only of trusting Dester. He was no enemy of Neverwinter. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I feel like I had somewhat of a choice in Fenthic's fate, but I don't think that I did. I, they never said, like, straight up, hey, should we kill Fenthic or not? I think I... I remember there was some dialogue choice beforehand. I don't think it was saving Fenthic. I don't think saving Fenthic was an option. But the way that they talk about it kind of makes me think, like, wait, did I have the option to save him? Is this part of why he's so pessimistic? I don't know. And yet I saw him hanged for failing to protect the city, as was his sworn duty. Can we really be so surprised Erebeth betrayed us after we executed her lover? Eh, I mean, that's still pretty shitty of her. She was having some weird dreams that she told me about. Um. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't excuse her betrayal. That is what I tell myself over and over. Bark. But the words are hollow to my own ears. I only wanted to do what was best for Neverwinter, to heal the wounds left by the Wailing Death. Yet even as I passed sentence on Fenthic, I knew in my heart it was wrong. This was not justice. Well, what the hell, man? Why didn't you say something? Fenthic died to feed the city's lust for revenge. And now Neverwinter shall fall to an army that was raised to feed No way to save him. Okay, thank you, Chris. I, I couldn't remember if it was a choice I made or not. Justice. Well, perhaps we can atone for what you've done. I fear it is too late for that. Fenthic is dead Fuck. and Erebeth. Perhaps if I were given the chance to pass judgment again, I would act differently. More mercifully. Oh, are they setting us up for some confrontation with Erebeth here? But I fear that chance shall never come. I must live with the burden of what I have done, as must my city. Neverwinter will fall. Full Denethor. Of course, of course. But before you go, maybe Gend is right. Maybe you should go speak to this Hadrilene creature. Yeah, all right, I get it. You guys are really pushing the Hadrilene angle, huh? I doubt it will do much good, but maybe, just maybe, she knows something that can save us. We're desperate, after all. Any important information you come across should be reported directly to Erin Gend. 
I placed him in charge of the defense of the city. Good. Aaron's the only, like, competent character I've met this whole game, I think. Well, I take it back. Competent person from Neverwinter, probably. Aaron! Buddy! These are indeed dark times. Yes. Though not so dark as Lord Nasher portrays them. The people of Neverwinter are made of sterner stuff than any of us imagined. Hmm. But if Neverwinter is to survive, we must all play our part. My place is here by Lord Nash's side. I must oversee every aspect of the defense of the city. And your own part is one you know all too well. Yes! You must save Neverwinter. Being the Winter. hero. Though how you might accomplish this, I cannot say. Perhaps the creature Hadrilene knows something. Hey, I get it. I can take a hint. Grief. I once knew every secret in this city, but these are turbulent times, and even I am left stumbling in the dark. Yet, I will tell you whatever I can. Okay, I'm going to say he's probably going to tell us exactly the same shit that Asher did. So let's ask about Arabeth. It's the second time in Neverwinter. There is army besieging the walls of dragons and wild men. It's recovering from plague and fear of the occult. Tell us, Bark, what will you be doing now? Uh, talking to a crazy lizard lady? Uh, I mean, is there something better to do with my time? It pains me to talk of her. There was a time when I considered her a champion of Neverwinter. Hmm. And I called her friend. I wonder if there's a chance I could join Malgrim, maybe. Get in while the getting's good. Her betrayal struck us all hard. Especially Lord Nasher. He will not admit it. But I imagine the situation was made even worse by the guilt he felt over Fenwick's execution. You know, I kind of wonder why it is. Like, you think about, uh, I'm just thinking of Custer and Tanum's comments about NPCs and the way that they talk to the main character. If it's like the interaction of a PC game or a video game or what, but you think about the other... The other storytelling uh, media that we have, right? Movies, TV shows, uh, uh, books. Sometimes there's a character that just pops up in a book or a movie that is basically just an exposition dump character, right? Like they just tell the hero or protagonist or whatever what needs to be done. Or who the antagonist is and why they need to be stopped or whatever. But usually they do a pretty decent job of like working those details into a, a genuine like dialogue just kind of comes out naturally at least good writing does right but games almost always at least role-playing games that i'm familiar with almost always have hey uh you should do this or ah let me tell you about this oh all i know about this is blah 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 blah, blah. like it's always just very clearly laid out there's no there's very little like subtlety to it which I get, I think, because it's... I think, I, if I had to guess, it'd be because uh, it's interactive and you don't want the... The player doesn't want to have to sit there trying to figure out all the details themselves. They just want it, like, written out for them so that they know what to do next. That's my guess. But it's kind of weird that there aren't more... Isn't more effort to, like, make it more natural-seeming. It's always so ham-fisted and direct. It's always notes and journals left behind on dead bodies and stuff, or... Uh, yeah, or just like some character being like, ask me whatever you want to ask me and I will tell you what I know, kind of thing. That never happens in movies or books, usually. Custer be a fetch quest giver. <laughs> I can't be bothered to investigate. Exactly right, yeah. Give me this very simple thing and I'll give you something that's worth more than the trouble that I asked you to take on yourself. Yeah. It's fine. I, I don't mind it. It's a convention of games, I suppose. But it's just weird that games alone, of all the different ways we have to tell stories, are the ones that use that kind of less subtle laziness. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, right. Guilty fe Yeah, so he, he mentioned that, the guilt. Yep. I make no excuses for Arabeth's actions. But seeing the cheering crowds at her lover's execution might very well be what turned her against the city. Mm, fair. But now is not the time to discuss whether Erebeth's actions were justified. We must stay focused on finding a way to save the city. We've known that Fenthic was killed for a, a while now, <clears throat> but this is the first time that... Maybe I'm wrong. This is the first time that I remember them actually connecting Fenthic's execution to Arabeth's betrayal. When we talked to Arabeth back in like Port Last, I think, or Luskin, maybe? 
I don't remember where we talked to her last. But when we did, she was saying how, like, oh, I'm having these weird dreams and I don't know what they mean. She wasn't really, like, she was mentioning, like, I think she maybe mentioned Fenthic as, like, oh, I miss him kind of thing. But I don't remember her ever mentioning, like, ah, those bastards in Neverwinter who wanted to see my boyfriend dead. That wasn't fair. How could they, those monsters? She never really, she never made, made a big deal out of it, I remember. It was always her weird dreams. Uh, something else? I'll do my best to help you. Latest news from the battle line, probably the exact same. Uh, tell me more about Lord Nasher Alaganda. He was once a great adventurer, you know. I wish you could have known him then. A true hero in all his magnificent glory. Yeah, it seems like he's lost a step. He is a different man now. Yeah. Still a good man. But the bureaucracy and responsibility of leadership... Oh, good night, Murphy. Thanks, Custer Murphy. I appreciate you hanging out with me this evening. Always leave with the quote. <gasps> Does Nightbot let us down? Oh, there he goes. Did I want that bridge to fuck? I think that was a dishonored one. I think Harry... No, Frankie, I think, uh, put that one in there. Good night, Custer. Have a good uh, weekend, and I hope to see you next week. Thanks for hanging out with us for a bit. Somber and serious, eh? And now, in Neverwinter's darkest hour, I fear he has given in to complete despair. Seems that way. Erebeth's betrayal, the guilt over Fenthic's execution, the slaughter of his people. Sometimes the burden on Lord Nasher is too great. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, they say. There is little we can do for him, other than trying to save the city. Is there anything else? No, let's get going. You should speak to Hadralin before you go. Maybe she will tell you something about the Source Stone or the words of power. Right. My instincts tell me that she is the key if Neverwinter is to be saved. And I have learned to trust my instincts. Okay. Just take a... Who's being tortured out there? You hear that? That's usually the torturous... Ah! <laughs> that guy. It's usually the torture uh, sound effects, like when you're in a dungeon or something. I'm not uh, going anywhere, I just want to get a good look at what's around here. Castle Dungeons. Maybe Harrison Ford isn't there. Okay, well, we're going to switch over to Tyranny here in just a minute. Uh, so I'm going to stop here. It seems like a pretty natural stopping point. I think that this is the last act of the game coming up. Yeah, the final battle. Led by Arabeth and Malgrim, the Luskin forces have all but overrun Neverwinter. Even slaying the leaders might not be enough to turn the tide of battle at this point. Eren Gen feels Hadrily, the mysterious lizard creature now languishing in the dungeons of Castle Never, might know a way to save the city. Only she can reveal the secrets of the words of power and the recently discovered source stone. Although there is hope that Master Ford, presently studying the source stone in the caverns beneath the dungeon of... Oh, okay, so he's beneath the cavern. Beneath the dungeon, even. Uh, of Castle Never might have some information to share as well. Hmm, so are we actually going to see the city of Neverwinter itself? Or is it all engulfed in flames and we're only going to be going down into the dungeon and then down below the dungeon and then fighting the bad guys down there? I kind of expect it to be like back in Neverwinter the city, but... Eh. We shall find out, I suppose. Okay, um, saving the game as Bark57. <laughs> yeah. And switching over to Tyranny here in just a minute. 